Like I said yesterday, I am probably in the minority, but yesterday wasn't a good result in my opinion. And one of the reasons why is, well, something that I didn't admit yesterday because I didn't want to you know, create a, lot, a whole lot of anxiety amongst any City fans that are watching. And one of the reasons was Rodri's injury. Rodri is injured, 10 men Arsenal, and we couldn't beat them at home at the Etihad. Best team in the land and all the world. No. We didn't show up yesterday in the second half. We didn't. It's it's not a result. <laughs> I'm seeing so many City fans on Twitter and on social media have that. Yeah. Ha we drew. If you want to win the league, you're not supposed to drop these kinds of points when an opportunity like this is dropped onto our lap. 10 men Arsenal at home at the Etihad in front of our faithful. Come on. So happy John Stones scored. I love John Stones. Love Joe Hart. You all saw Joe Hart uh, singing John Stones' song. That was amazing. Finally, some good, proper city representation. Not some fake-ass ones wearing Manchester United shirts on other channels. Okay. It is just, honestly, I, I am just obviously devastated by the news. This is a man who literally, in an interview a couple days ago, talked about the horrific and demanding schedule for footballers. And then he, ten, then he injures his ACL. It is not 100% confirmed, but David Ornstein reported it. Bleacher Report reported it. Some other trustworthy uh, sources reported it. He has uh, injured his ACL. He's going to be out for practically the entire season, Rodri. Our most important player, in my opinion, Ballon d'Or winner. The worthy Ballon d'Or winner. Club and country. The other guy just did it for club. But um, Rodri's out for the season. This is terrible news. This is obviously horrendous news. Our most important player... I can tell you statistics about how, you know, you, 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 you can all read the statistics online. I, I really don't give a damn about them, honestly, right now. We only won one game with that. I, I don't care. My eyes tell me how important of a player he is. He's just uh, incredible. Such an incredible human being. Such a genuine, humble human being. Tears his ACL. I... Look, I'm not going to throw out accusations down there, but it they were targeting him. I'm just going to say it honestly. They were targeting Rodri since the first five seconds of the game. They were targeting him. I'm seeing uh, a couple of uh, former Arsenal players, you know, some Manchester United fans, a couple of Chelsea fans, a couple of Liverpool fans, but mostly Manchester United and Arsenal fans wishing you a speedy recovery. Get well soon. Oh my god, Rodri's injured. This is horrible news for Manchester City. Make no question, this is obviously not every single Arsenal fan, not every single Man United fan, but when they turn off their screens, when the cameras are off, they are snickering. They love it. I'm sure they love it. I'm sure a lot of Arsenal fans are loving the news. I'm sure a lot of Man United fans are loving the news. I have never in my entire life, never on this channel, never have and never will, Wish injury on a player. Yes, I am a City fan. I'm a lifelong City fan. I'm a lifelong Fenerbahce fan. But I'm also a lifelong football fan. And I understand how, comp how competitive football... And how, well, how vital it is to have the most important players, the best players, even the best players on your rivals be present, healthy. It's good for football. I have never wished injury on another player and I never will. I'm not asking you to go and write messages. I will never ask any of you to do that on anybody's channel. And I'm not going to name specific channels and specific people, but when you hear the uh, the get well soons, the uh, uh, the wishing you a speedy recoveries from uh, prominent um, Arsenal fans, personalities, and from United ones, don't believe a second of it. Because honestly, I don't. I, I really don't. I, I don't believe a goddamn second of it. They're all snickering at home, l waking up to the news that Rodri has injured his ACL. We were uh, KDB was out for a couple of months, for half the for half the season last season. Holland was out for two months, and uh, we did we did quite well. The thing is, Julian Alvarez was there. Oscar Bob was there. A couple other players were there. Now they're not there. I said this. I said this a couple of weeks ago. Not signing a Rodri backup is going to come and bite us in the butt. And it's and there you go. There you go. 
I can't believe I'm saying this, but I mean, I wish I wish we had someone like Calvin Phillips, a defensive midfielder. I wish we had some an actual defensive midfielder in our club right now. We have no one. We're going to have to have John Stones. Unfortunately, I love him to death, an injury-prone player playing that role for the rest of the season, mostly. Kovacic playing that role. He gave the ball away a couple of times in that Arsenal game. All right, he, he did well. I'm so glad he came on and he did his best. But he gave the ball a couple of times. Gundogan didn't play well yesterday. We're asking those two to fill in for Rodri. I, I'm, I'm, having, I'm having doubts. I want to back my team. I want to back my players. But I'm, I'm, trying to be, I'm being honest with you. I'm having, I'm, having, I'm having some doubts. I'm having some doubts. A couple of my friends messaged me uh, like 20 minutes ago. And uh, I, I remember one of them said, um, you just get through, you pull through until January and sign a replacement. <laughs> you think we're going to sign a replacement? No, it, if we didn't sign a replacement in the last three years, what makes you think we're going to sign one now? I'm, maybe the Rodri injury will push them over the edge and they finally sign someone. I'm, okay, is the season over? Hell effing no, the season is not over. However... The uh, us being favorites for for the league and for the Champions League no longer exists in my head. We are no longer favorites for the Premier League. We are no longer favorites for the Champions League. Okay. Does that mean I'm giving up? Hell effing no, I'm not going to give up on my club. I'm just being realistic. I'm just being realistic. Maybe that could play in our hands. Maybe the pressure will be a little bit less compared to what it was in the last couple of seasons. But the thing is, is that our most important player is gone. Kevin De Bruyne is getting of age. He can't play 90 minutes at the highest level week in and week out anymore. Again, so glad we have Savino, so glad we have Doku and all these you know, amazing attacking players. I'm so happy Phil Foden is coming into the mix. Could we possibly have a, a midfield of Foden, Gundogan, and Kovacic? Foden, Gundogan, and maybe John Stones in that, in that midfield role? I'm liking I'm liking it. I'm definitely believing in my team. I am 100% believing in my players, but I would be lying to all of you and saying that I am not just a tad bit worried about the season. Let me know what your thoughts are uh, about Rodri's injury, his ACL injury. Do you think we're going to be signing a replacement in January? Let me know. I would love to know your opinion. Of course, thank you all so much for watching. This is devastating news, but uh, the season is not over. We still have so many quality players that can do that role. Definitely not as well as Rodri. That's just a given. But they can still do a solid job. Again, this is a horrible injury. I am so sad and frustrated. I'm, I'm, I'm so angry with, with, uh, with a lot of the responses of Arsenal fans, Chelsea fans, um, Real Madrid fans. I mean, fans from all, the usual suspects, if you will. So I'm not really surprised on where the sources are. But again, it's just, you know, let's just, I'm just not going to try and pay attention to any of that, honestly, right now. Right now, I'm just thinking about Manchester City. I'm thinking about what we have to do. I'm thinking about what Pep Guardiola has to do and what we as fans have to do. And that's back the team right now. Yes, I am worried, but that's just a natural response to the stimulus that's in front of me right now. To what is, to reality right in front of me right now. But... We're going to be fine. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you are new, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you are new. Love to have you on board. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all next time.